welcome back to another video. I'm going to be taking a look at the 15 inch MacBook Air with the M2 chip. This is the starlight color. I originally had wanted to get the midnight, but it was sold out. I got this at Costco during the Black Friday sale week. The original price was $17,39.99 and it was $250 off, so I got it at $14,89.99 Canadian. So a little bit about me and computers, laptops, I am usually team PC. I don't really know why that stuck since most of my phones during my cell phone years have been iPhones. I think it stems from the very first time I ever used a Mac computer it was like back in high school when they still had the big back of the monitor and I hated it. I downright hated it. <laughs> I have no idea why. I think it's because I was using like PCs forever and then it was just different and uncomfortable. I just didn't like it. I mean, other than it being really cute that the icons kind of bounce when you click on it, I just didn't like how it navigated. My dad always used PC and he's like usually tech savvy. So I just kind of followed in his footsteps and used it. And then when I started gaming, I just liked using PC more. So I had Alienwares and now I have a Razer. Even though they are really thick, I just just liked it but then I've always wanted to try a Mac computer especially now that they're like coming out so nice and gorgeous I mean I have the iPhone the watch the iPad it would only make sense that I get the MacBook as well so everything can just sync really nicely but I just never took the plunge because it was so expensive and I know you're gonna be like well Alienware and Razer computers they're not that cheap either true but I got the quartz color for the Razer Blade 15 and it was just a no-brainer for me to get that and then I ended up getting the pink keyboard and the pink mouse and then it just looked really nice that it was all together but then I stopped gaming because I had my baby and there is no time for me to game with a baby uh, maybe I'll pick it up again when she goes to preschool or when she gets old enough and then we can play together how many of you game with your kids let me know in the comments below the MacBook Air M2 chip is up to 1.4 times faster than the M1 chip. It's also up to 12 times faster than fastest Intel-based Airs. In general, the battery can last up to 18 hours. It is also said that compared to a PC laptop with an Intel Core i7 processor, MacBook Air delivers up to 2 times faster performance, up to 50% faster web browsing, and also up to 50% longer battery life. If you happen to have an iPhone, it'll work even better together whether you're chatting with friends, transferring files with airdrop or locating devices with find my with iCloud it's easier to store all your photos contacts and documents so they're available across all your Apple devices with the migration assistant you can easily move files apps and more if you have an old PC or Mac there's also great apps built in like FaceTime freeform photos and keynote this has 8 gigabytes of unified memory and 256 gigabytes of storage. It has an 8 core CPU and a 10 core GPU. Setting up Siri allows you to choose from five different voice options and then it'll also help with voice recognition by asking you a couple of questions. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi. I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. The Touch ID is a feature that I wish I had. Unfortunately, because my Razer was a base model, it didn't come with it. At the top left, you'll see all the pull-down menu options to utilize your MacBook. Restart, sleep, shutdown, system settings, and info about your Mac. Finders, creating new folders, edits like autofill, emojis, viewing options, going to files, and also some helpful tips. On the top right, you'll see your battery settings, your Wi-Fi settings, and similar to the iPad and iPhone, you'll see the pull-down option for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, screen mirroring, brightness, and sound. And then there's also some widgets. Whichever window is currently being used, that one will be shown at the top left corner. There will be a pull-down menu with options for you to use based on that browser or app. 
apps that are minimized will be shown here at the bottom right corner next to the folder and trash. Going into the browser, you can use this button on the top right where you'll be able to bookmark the web page, use AirDrop or use Notes, etc. In order to split screens, you would use the green button at the top left next to the Close and Minimize and you'll have options for either moving it to the left side of the screen or the right side of the screen. And just like the iPad, you would use the little mover tool in between both browsers or both apps and you would just shift it left to right depending on how you want to view them. And then of course you'll be able to go back into full screen. This liquid retina display supports 1 billion colors and up to two times the resolution of some PC laptops, allowing your photos and videos to pop with rich contrast and sharp details. Your text will also appear super crisp for easier reading. It also comes with a 1080p FaceTime high definition camera. You can also connect up to a 6K display. It comes with immersive sound system as the speakers support spatial audio along with Dolby Atmos, allowing you to enjoy three-dimensional sound stages for movies and music. This quiet backlit magic keyboard is comfortable to use and comes with full height function keys and touch ID at the top right corner of the keyboard. I also forgot to show you but if you are like me and are used to using PC laptops where the trackpad can be clicked, you can go into the Apple at the top left corner, go into system settings and then click trackpad to enable this feature. MagSafe charging cable easily attaches and detaches with magnets. You also have two Thunderbolt ports and a headphone jack. My razor was running out of space. Turns out it's actually 16 gigs and the MacBook, this one, is only 8 gigs. If you actually go into Costco, most likely they're only going to have the base option of it. So 8 gigs. If you go online on their website or their app and try to purchase it, they have other options for some. For where I was located in Canada, they only have 16 gigs for some of the Pro models and I wasn't sure if I really needed the Pro and if I wanted to drop all that money. But so yeah, I'm not really really sure what my decision is now because I cleared out the space on my razor and it's running a lot smoother. The only thing that it does do still is it crashes randomly. It's about four years old now so I'm not sure what the lifespan of a regular razor should be but I'm hoping that it lasts a lot longer because I still really like it. Or I'm just not sure if I should just wait till it completely dies on me before I get a new laptop because you know, functionality wise, it still works and aesthetically wise, it still pleases me. So we shall see. I mean, a deal breaker would be if the Mac 16 gig was on sale and it came out with a really nice pink. That would be a deal breaker. I mean, I know I can get skins and cases, but it's just not the same. <laughs> And another thing for why I prefer PCs and I'm still leaning towards keeping my razor rather than this beautiful laptop right here are the ports. With mine, you can see that I use quite a bit of them at once. Like I said, they're all plugged in. Now that it's kind of set up, I don't have to unplug them. But with the Mac, it is so limited. There's only the charging port and the two USB-C's and then on this side is just a headphone jack which I don't even need or use. That is a huge deal breaker for me. Like I said, because I'm using you know external hard drives and a keyboard and a mouse, they all have USBs that I need to be plugged in and I bought a bunch of dongles actually, which I'll do in another video because I got this and I had high hopes that I was going to fall in love with it and be okay with the lack of ports. That's another huge reason why I like my Razer because it has all those ports. Like I use the HDMI, I use all the USBs basically and mine has the USB-C as well. I think that that's just really, really convenient for me. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are team PC or team Mac and which one you prefer if you used both before in the past and why do you prefer that one if you guys think that the mac air the mac pro if they're worth it if you have a pc and you switched over to mac was it worth it or if you would prefer to save the money for something else let me know if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and i will catch you in the next video thanks for watching everyone see you later